Hi, hello. In this video I want to show you how to make a simple frame and a header in AutoCAD 2013 by using a dynamic block and some attributes. So I will begin with a rectangle from 0, 0 0.0 up to 210 to 97 which are the dimensions of a DNA 4 sheet. Now we will use offset 3 to make it a double frame. Then I need some lines at the bottom. So maybe I start right here, go up over here and maybe I use this 10 like this and maybe I make a copy something like that yep sheet member name so maybe I need another line right here okay then I would need some text single line the name as name and maybe here a sheet number let's move it here this a little bit up yeah, like this then I need to define some attributes so I define attribute, one should be scale, scale, prompt should be scale, and default should be x, double point x, okay, it should go right here, uh, another one, sheet number, Sheet number default maybe x x x should be right here. And another one name name x x x x x x x x over here. Yeah, so I should move this a little bit. This one here and a 
move these two from here up to here. Okay. And maybe I do the same right here. So they are aligned. Yeah. Now I need to def need to define a block. First, maybe I explode these two rectangles. Okay. Then I want to insert a block, create a block, call it frame. DNA four, DNA three. I want to use this as base point. Click, select the objects like this, and allow exploding and delete the already selected objects. OK. And I want to insert the block. OK. 0, 0. The name should be default xxx, sheet number xx, scale x to x. OK. That looks OK. If you want to insert your company logo, don't insert a picture because the picture would be attached to the file and if you give the drawing to someone, the image would be not in the drawing. So try to draw the company logo inside AutoCAD. Okay. Now let's change this block into a dynamic one. Therefore I have to add some parameters to the block. So I go to the block editor, select frame DNA4, DNA3 and make two parameters. First one is a linear parameter from this point to that point. OK. And another one. From this point to that point. These two parameters need two actions. And the exc exclamation mark is just a sign that there are no actions connected to the parameters. So I will need a stretch action. So select stretch, select the parameter and specify the parameter point you want to use. I will use this one. Then make a stretch frame, something like this. and the objects like this and confirm it. To remove this exclamation mark, go to the parameter, select it, context menu, grip display, change it to 1 and the exclamation mark is gone. Now I could test it, test block. Let's see if it works. Yes, indeed, it does. So close test block window. You should always do one parameter after the other and test it. So the next one will be another stretch action for this parameter. The point will be this one. Stretch frame now would be 
this one and the objects should be these yes selected context menu grip display only one grip save the block test it works. Now I want to make sure that only certain dimensions are possible. Therefore I select this parameter, go to the properties of the parameter and change the value set distance type to list and add some values so for DNA3 I would need 420 and if I want to do DNA4 landscape I would need 297 okay Select this parameter, go to the properties, it's very slow today, change again the distance time type to list. This one would be 210 for landscape DNA4 add. OK. Save the block. Close the block editor. And take a look if it works. So select it. So there are only 297 and Four hundred and twenty. Okay, that's okay. And that's two hundred and ten and two hundred and seven. Yeah, that's okay. It works. And I'm done. Thanks for your kind attention. See you next time. Thank you.